What's up everyone? 5280 Reefer here. Back at you again with another episode. So, in today's episode, just wanted to give a end of the year cap off for kind of what's happened in the year and some changes I'm going to be making to the tank and to my husbandry with the tank in 2024. <clears throat> so, 2023 was kind of rough, to be honest. Um, all of the battles that I had with dinoflagellates, multiple types of dinoflagellates, cyano, which I'm still battling, um, issues with fish, aptasia, so on so forth. The list just keeps on going, to be honest. But, you know, I stuck through it. I didn't give up, you know, I kept on trucking along, and, uh, you know, it was funny, when uh, I had my dinoflagellate issue, I was sitting there, and I was like, man, I, you know, I would take GHA, I would take Aptasia issue over having dinoflagellates, but now that I'm pretty much uh, defeated, dinoflagellates I'm at the point where I have a lot of aptasia and it's it's getting pretty bad and it's affecting my corals almost as much as the dinoflagellates of course dinoflagellates affect your corals tank wide I mean it's in the water column on all surfaces and affects your fish and so on and so forth but the Aptasia, they may not affect the fish as much, uh, may not be tank-wide yet, um, but it is affecting certain corals, and uh, I'm now at the point of like, man, it just sucks having all these issues, you know? It's like one thing after another, it just doesn't end for 2023, it's... It's been a crapshoot, but I'm sticking through it. Um, the stripey that I got is definitely in the tank. He or she has definitely gotten a lot bigger than when I first got it. Um, but I don't know if I've really noticed uh, any of the Aptasia disappearing. But the Aptasia in my tank are pretty big, so I'm thinking that it's going to get after it once they get bigger, or once the fish gets bigger at least, um, and is going to be able to get after it better. I'm staying hopeful. Uh, if not, then I, I definitely am going to be trying Bergia, because uh, that's pretty much my only other option besides getting rid of all my wrasses and then getting a whole bunch of um, cleaner shrimp, which, uh, or I mean peppermint shrimp, but uh, that, I don't think I'll be doing that. I do love the fish that are in the tank, and that's just too much. But, yeah, and to be honest, um, going into 2024, um, yesterday, on Saturday, I did my first water change on the tank. That's why you were kind of able to see a little bit of a sandstorm happening on the left side because I vacuumed up that sand pretty good. I got a whole lot of detritus out of there. And I do got to say the tank does look a bit better after that water change, you know. Um, feels cleaner. I don't know if that's just a mental thing, but corals seem to like it for sure. Um, so going forward, going into 2024, I will be doing a 25 gallon water change either once a week or once every other week. So it's going to be 10% about either once a week or every other week. So either 40% ish a month water change or about 20%. But yeah, guys, just wanted to tell everyone keep your heads up, don't get discouraged keep up the fight. Our tanks look beautiful at the end of the day. 
as long as we keep working at it and making sure that the corals, the fish, everything is happy. I just want to wish all you guys a happy new year, a happy beginning of the year, and a full joyous year. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, have a wonderful day and keep on reefing.